Network science is an academic field which studies complex networks such as telecommunication networks, computer networks, biological networks, cognitive and semantic networks, and social networks, considering distinct elements or actors represented by nodes or vertices and the connections between the elements or actors as links or edges. The field draws on theories and methods including graph theory from mathematics, statistical mechanics from physics, data mining and information visualization from computer science, inferential modeling from statistics, and social structure from sociology. The United States National Research Council defines network science as the study of network representations of physical, biological, and social phenomena leading to predictive models of these phenomena. <laughs> <laughs> Background and history The study of networks has emerged in diverse disciplines as a means of analyzing complex relational data. The earliest known paper in this field is the famous Seven Bridges of Königsberg written by Leonard Euler in 1736. Euler's mathematical description of vertices and edges was the foundation of graph theory, a branch of mathematics that studies the properties of pairwise relations in a network structure. The field of graph theory continued to develop and found applications in chemistry Sylvester, 1878. Denis Konig, a Hungarian mathematician and professor, wrote the first book in graph theory, entitled, Theory of Finite and Infinite Graphs, in 1936. In the 1930s Jacob Moreno, a psychologist in the Gestalt tradition, arrived in the United States. He developed the sociogram and presented it to the public in April 1933 at a convention of medical scholars. Moreno claimed that before the advent of sociometry no one knew what the interpersonal structure of a group precisely looked like Moreno, 1953. The sociogram was a representation of the social structure of a group of elementary school students. The boys were friends of boys and the girls were friends of girls with the exception of one boy who said he liked a single girl. The feeling was not reciprocated. This network representation of social structure was found so intriguing that it was printed in the New York Times April 3, 1933, page 17. The sociogram has found many applications and has grown into the field of social network analysis. Probabilistic theory in network science developed as an offshoot of graph theory with Paul Erdős and Alfred Rainey's eight famous papers on random graphs. For social networks the exponential random graph model or P** is a notational framework used to represent the probability space of a tie occurring in a social network. An alternate approach to network probability structures is the network probability matrix, which models the probability of edges occurring in a network, based on the historic presence or absence of the edge in a sample of networks. In 1998, David Crackhart and Kathleen Carley introduced the idea of a meta-network with the PCANS model. They suggest that, "...all organizations are structured along these three domains, individuals, tasks, and resources." Their paper introduced the concept that networks occur across multiple domains and that they are interrelated. This field has grown into another sub-discipline of network science called dynamic network analysis. More recently other network science efforts have focused on mathematically describing different network topologies. Duncan Watts reconciled empirical data on networks with mathematical representation, describing the small world network. Albert Laszlo Barabasi and Reka Albert developed the scale-free network which is a loosely defined network topology that contains hub vertices with many connections, that grow in a way to maintain a constant ratio in the number of the connections versus all other nodes. Although many networks, such as the Internet, appear to maintain this aspect, other networks have long-tailed distributions of nodes that only approximate scale-free ratios. Topic Department of Defense Initiatives The U.S. military first became interested in network-centric warfare as an operational concept based on network science in 1996. John A. Parmentola, the U.S. Army Director for Research and Laboratory Management, proposed to the Army's Board on Science and Technology on December 1, 2003 that network science become a new Army research area. The BAST, the Division on Engineering and Physical Sciences for the National Research Council of the National Academies, serves as a convening authority for the discussion of science and technology issues of importance to the Army and oversees independent Army-related studies conducted by the National Academies. 
The BAST conducted a study to find out whether identifying and funding a new field of investigation in basic research, network science, could help close the gap between what is needed to realize network-centric operations and the current primitive state of fundamental knowledge of networks. As a result, the BAST issued the NRC study in 2005 titled Network Science referenced above that defined a new field of basic research in network science for the Army. Based on the findings and recommendations of that study and the subsequent 2007 NRC report titled Strategy for an Army Center for Network Science, Technology, and Experimentation, Army basic research resources were redirected to initiate a new basic research program in network science. To build a new theoretical foundation for complex networks, some of the key network science research efforts now ongoing in Army laboratories address, mathematical models of network behavior to predict performance with network size, complexity, and environment optimized human performance required for network-enabled warfare networking within ecosystems and at the molecular level in cells, as initiated in 2004 by Frederick I. Moxley with support he solicited from David S. Alberts, the Department of Defense helped to establish Establish the first Network Science Center in conjunction with the U.S. Army at the United States Military Academy USMA. Under the tutelage of Dr. Moxley and the faculty of the USMA, the first interdisciplinary undergraduate courses in network science were taught to cadets at West Point. In order to better instill the tenets of network science among its cadre of future leaders, the USMA has also instituted a five-course undergraduate minor in network science. In 2006, the U.S. Army and the United Kingdom UK, formed the Network and Information Science International Technology Alliance, a collaborative partnership among the Army Research Laboratory, UK Ministry of Defense and a consortium of industries and universities in the U.S. and UK. The goal of the alliance is to perform basic research in support of network-centric operations across the needs of both nations. In 2009, the U.S. Army formed the Network Science CTA, a collaborative research alliance among the Army Research Laboratory, CERDEC, and a consortium of about 30 industrial R&D labs and universities in the U.S. The goal of the alliance is to develop a deep understanding of the underlying commonalities among intertwined social, cognitive, information, and communications networks, and as a result improve our ability to analyze, predict, design, and influence complex systems interweaving many kinds of networks. Subsequently, as a result of these efforts, the U.S. Department of Defense has sponsored numerous research projects that support network science. Topic network properties Often, networks have certain attributes that can be calculated to analyze the properties and characteristics of the network. The behavior of these network properties often define network models and can be used to analyze how certain models contrast to each other. Many of the definitions for other terms used in network science can be found in glossary of graph theory. Topic: Size. The size of a network can refer to the number of nodes n display style n or less commonly the number of edges e display style e which for connected graphs with no multi edges can range from n minus 1 display style n1 a tree to e max display style e underscore max a complete graph in the case of a simple graph a network in which at most one undirected edge exists between each pair of vertices and in which no vertices connect to themselves we have E max equals n two equals n n minus one two display style e underscore max equals t n two equals n n one two for directed graphs with no self connected nodes e max equals n n minus 1 display style e underscore max equals n n 1 for directed graphs with self connections allowed e max equals n 2 display style e underscore max equals n caret 2 in the circumstance of a graph within which multiple edges may exist between a pair of vertices 
e max equals infinity display style e underscore max equals infinity e topic density the density d display style d of a network is defined as a ratio of the number of edges e display style e to the number of possible edges in a network with n display style n nodes given in the case of simple graphs by the binomial coefficient n 2 display style tbnom n 2 giving d equals e minus n minus 1 e m a x minus n minus 1 equals 2 e minus n plus 1 n n minus 3 plus 2 display style d equals frac e n 1 e max n 1 equals frac 2 e n plus 1 n n 3 plus 2 another possible equation is d equals t minus 2 n plus 2 n n minus 3 plus 2 display style d equals frac t 2 n plus 2 n n 3 plus 2 whereas the ties t display style t are unidirectional wasserman and faust 1994 this gives a better overview over the network density because unidirectional relationships can be measured topic Planar network density The density d display style d of a network where there is no intersection between edges is defined as a ratio of the number of edges e display style e to the number of possible edges in a network with n display style n nodes given by a graph with no intersecting edges E max equals three n minus six. Display style e underscore max equals three n six, giving d equals e minus n plus one two n minus five display style d equals frac e n plus 1 2 n 5 topic average degree the degree k display style k of a node is the number of edges connected to it closely related to the density of a network is the average degree k equals 2 e n display style wrangle k wrangle equals tfrac 2 e n or in the case of directed graphs k equals e n display style wrangle k wrangle equals tfrac e n the former factor of 2 arising from each edge in an undirected graph contributing to the degree of two distinct vertices. In the ER random graph model G N P display style G N P we can compute the expected value of K display style wrangle K wrangle equal to the expected value of K display style K of an arbitrary vertex a random vertex has n minus 1 display style n1 other vertices in the network available and with probability p display style p connects to each thus e k equals 
e k equals p n minus 1 display style math b e langle k wrangle equals math b e k equals p n 1 topic average shortest path length or characteristic path length The average shortest path length is calculated by finding the shortest path between all pairs of nodes, and taking the average over all paths of the length thereof the length being the number of intermediate edges contained in the path, i.e., the distance d u v between the two vertices u v within the graph. This shows us, on average, the number of steps it takes to get from one member of the network to another. The behavior of the expected average shortest path length that is, the ensemble average of the average shortest path length as a function of the number of vertices n of a random network model defines whether that model exhibits the small world effect, if it scales as o lane north Display style o lane n. The model generates small world nets. For faster than logarithmic growth, the model does not produce small worlds. The special case of o lane lane north display style o lane lane n is known as ultra small world effect. Topic: Diameter of a network. As another means of measuring network graphs, we can define the diameter of a network as the longest of all the calculated shortest paths in a network. It is the shortest distance between the two most distant nodes in the network. In other words, once the shortest path length from every node to all other nodes is calculated, the diameter is the longest of all the calculated path lengths. The diameter is representative of the linear size of a network. Topic. Clustering coefficient The clustering coefficient is a measure of an all my friends know each other property. This is sometimes described as the friends of my friends are my friends. More precisely, the clustering coefficient of a node is the ratio of existing links connecting a node's neighbors to each other to the maximum possible number of such links. The clustering coefficient for the entire network is the average of the clustering coefficients of all the nodes. A high clustering coefficient for a network is another indication of a small world. The clustering coefficient of the i display style i th node is c i equals 2 e i k i K I minus one display style C underscore I equals two E underscore I over K underscore I K underscore I minus one where K I display style K underscore I is the number of neighbors of the I display style I th node and E I Display style e underscore i is the number of connections between these neighbors. The maximum possible number of connections between neighbors is then k two equals k k minus one two. Display style binom k two equals k k one over two. From a probabilistic standpoint, the expected local clustering coefficient is the likelihood of a link existing between two arbitrary neighbors of the same node. Topic: <laughs> Connectedness. The way in which a network is connected plays a large part into how networks are analyzed and interpreted. Networks are classified in four different categories. Clique, complete graph, a completely connected network, where all nodes are connected to every other node. 
These networks are symmetric in that all nodes have in links and out links from all others. Giant component, a single connected component which contains most of the nodes in the network. Weakly connected component, a collection of nodes in which there exists a path from any node to any other, ignoring directionality of the edges. Strongly connected component, a collection of nodes in which there exists a directed path from any node to any other. Topic. Node centrality Centrality indices produce rankings which seek to identify the most important nodes in a network model. Different centrality indices encode different contexts for the word importance. The between us centrality, for example, considers a node highly important if it form bridges between many other nodes. The eigenvalue centrality, in contrast, considers a node highly important if many other highly important nodes link to it. Hundreds of such measures have been proposed in the literature. Centrality indices are only accurate for identifying the most central nodes. The measures are seldom, if ever, meaningful for the remainder of network nodes. Also, their indications are only accurate within their assumed context for importance, and tend to get it wrong for other contexts. For example, imagine two separate communities whose only link is an edge between the most junior member of each community. Since any transfer from one community to the other must go over this link, the two junior members will have high between us centrality. But, since they are junior, presumably, they have few connections to the important nodes in their community, meaning their eigenvalue centrality would be quite low. The concept of centrality in the context of static networks was extended, based on empirical and theoretical research, to dynamic centrality in the context of time-dependent and temporal networks. <laughs> Node influence Limitations to centrality measures have led to the development of more general measures. Two examples are the accessibility, which uses the diversity of random walks to measure how accessible the rest of the network is from a given start node. And the expected force, derived from the expected value of the force of infection generated by a node. Both of these measures can be meaningfully computed from the structure of the network alone. <laughs> network models Network models serve as a foundation to understanding interactions within empirical complex networks. Various random graph generation models produce network structures that may be used in comparison to real-world complex networks. <laughs> erdős rainy random graph model The erdős rainy model, named for Paul Erdős and Alfred Rainey, is used for generating random graphs in which edges are set between nodes with equal probabilities. It can be used in the probabilistic method to prove the existence of graphs satisfying various properties, or to provide a rigorous definition of what it means for a property to hold for almost all graphs. To generate an erdős rainy model, g n p display style g n p Two parameters must be specified, the total number of nodes n and the probability p that a random pair of nodes has an edge. Because the model is generated without bias to particular nodes, the degree distribution is binomial, for a randomly chosen vertex v v p d e g v equals k equals n Minus one K P K one minus P N minus one minus K Display style P D E G V equals K equals N one choose K P carrot K one P carrot N one K in this model the clustering coefficient is 0 a s the behavior of g n p display style g n p can be broken into three regions 
subcritical NP1 display style NP all components are simple and very small the largest component has size C1 equals O log N display style C underscore 1 equals O log N critical NP equals 1 display style NP equals 1 C1 equals O N23 display style C underscore 1 equals O N caret frac 23 supercritical NP greater than 1 display style NP greater than 1 C1 1 approximately equals y n display style c underscore 1 approximately y n where y equals y n p display style y equals y n p is the positive solution to the equation e minus p and y equals 1 minus y display style e caret p and y equals 1 y the largest connected component has high complexity all other components are simple and small c 2 equals o log n display style c underscore 2 equals o log n topic configuration model The configuration model takes a degree sequence or degree distribution which subsequently is used to generate a degree sequence as the input, and produces randomly connected graphs in all respects other than the degree sequence. This means that for a given choice of the degree sequence, the graph is chosen uniformly at random from the set of all graphs that comply with this degree sequence. The degree k k of a randomly chosen vertex is an independent and identically distributed random variable with integer values. When e k 2 minus 2 e k greater than 0 Text style math b e k caret 2 minus 2 math b e k greater than 0 the configuration graph contains the giant connected component, which has infinite size. The rest of the components have finite sizes, which can be quantified with the notion of the size distribution. The probability w n that a randomly sampled node is connected to a component of size n is given by convolution powers of the degree distribution, where U K display style U K denotes the degree distribution and U one K equals K plus one U K plus one E K Display style u underscore one k equals frac k plus one u k plus one math b e k. The giant component can be destroyed by randomly removing the critical fraction p c display style p underscore c of all edges. This process is called percolation on random networks. When the second moment of the degree distribution is finite, e k two infinity text style math b e k caret two, this critical edge fraction is given by p c equals one minus e k e k two minus e k display style p underscore c equals one frac math b e k math b e k caret two math b e k, and the average vertex vertex distance l display style l in the giant component scales logarithmically with the total size of the network. L equals O log N display style L equals O log N in the directed configuration model the degree of a node is given by two numbers in degree K in display style K underscore text in and out degree K out display style K underscore text out and consequently the degree distribution is two variant the expected number of in edges and out edges coincides so that e K in equals e K out text style math b e k underscore text in equals math b e k underscore text out. The directed configuration model contains the giant component if note that e k in text style math b e k underscore text in and e 
k out text style math b e k underscore text out are equal and therefore interchangeable in the latter inequality. The probability that a randomly chosen vertex belongs to a component of size n display style n is given by for in components and h out n equals e k out n minus 1 u tilde out n n minus 2 n greater than 1 u tilde out equals k out plus 1 e k out k in 0 u k in k out plus 1 Display style h underscore text out n equals frac math b e k underscore text out n one tilde u underscore text out caret asterisk n n two n greater than one tilde u underscore text out equals frac k underscore text out plus one math b e k underscore text out sum limits underscore k underscore text in g e q zero u k underscore text in k underscore text out plus one for out components topic <laughs> watt strogatz small world model the watts and strogatz model is a random graph generation model that produces graphs with small world properties an initial lattice structure is used to generate a watt strogatz model each node in the network is initially linked to its k Display style Langle K wrangle closest neighbors. Another parameter is specified as the rewiring probability. Each edge has a probability p display style p that it will be rewired to the graph as a random edge. The expected number of rewired links in the model is p e equals p n k two Display style p equals p n langle k wrangle two. As the watt strogatz model begins as non-random lattice structure, it has a very high clustering coefficient along with high average path length. Each rewire is likely to create a shortcut between highly connected clusters. As the rewiring probability increases, the clustering coefficient decreases slower than the average path length. In effect, this allows the average path length of the network to decrease significantly with only slightly decreases in clustering coefficient. Higher values of p-force more rewired edges, which in effect makes the watts strogatz model a random network. Barabasi-Albert preferential attachment model The Barabasi-Albert model is a random network model used to demonstrate a preferential attachment or a rich get richer effect. In this model, an edge is most likely to attach to nodes with higher degrees. The network begins with an initial network of M0 nodes. M02 and the degree of each node in the initial network should be at least one, otherwise it will always remain disconnected from the rest of the network. In the BA model, new nodes are added to the network one at a time. Each new node is connected to M display style M existing nodes with a probability that is proportional to the number of links that the existing nodes already have. Formally, the probability pi that the new node is connected to node I is P I equals K I J K J Display style p underscore i equals frac k underscore i sum underscore j k underscore j, where k is the degree of node i. Heavily linked nodes, hubs, tend to quickly accumulate even more links, while nodes with only a few links are unlikely to be chosen as the destination for a new link. The new nodes have a preference 
to attach themselves to the already heavily linked nodes. The degree distribution resulting from the BA model is scale-free, in particular, it is a power law of the form P K K minus three display style P K sim K caret minus three hubs exhibit high betweenness centrality, which allows short paths to exist between nodes. As a result, the BA model tends to have very short average path lengths. The clustering coefficient of this model also tends to zero. While the diameter, d, of many models including the erdős rényi random graph model and several small world networks is proportional to log n, the BA model exhibits d tilde loglan ultrasmall world. Note that the average path length scales with n as the diameter. Topic: <laughs> Mediation driven attachment MDA model. In the mediation driven attachment MDA model in which a new node coming with m display style m edges picks an existing connected node at random and then connects itself not with that one but with m display style m of its neighbors chosen also at random the probability pi i display style pi i that the node i display style i of the existing node picked as pi i equals k i n j equals 1 k i 1 k j k i Display style pi i equals frac k underscore i n frac sum underscore j equals one caret k underscore i frac one k underscore j k underscore i. The factor j equals one k i one k j k i. Display style frac sum underscore j equals one caret k underscore i frac one k underscore j k underscore i is the inverse of the harmonic mean i h m of degrees of the k i display style k underscore i neighbors of a node i display style i Extensive numerical investigation suggests that for an approximately m greater than 14 display style m greater than 14 the mean ihm value in the large n display style n limit becomes a constant which means pi i k i display style pi i prop to k underscore i it implies that the higher the links degree a node has, the higher its chance of gaining more links since they can be reached in a larger number of ways through mediators which essentially embodies the intuitive idea of rich get richer mechanism or the preferential attachment rule of the barabasi albert model. Therefore, the MDA network can be seen to follow the PA rule but in disguise. However, for M equals one display style m equals one. It describes the winner takes it all mechanism as we find that almost ninety nine percent display style ninety nine percent of the total nodes have degree one and one is super rich in degree. As m display style m value increases, the disparity between the super rich and poor decreases, and as m greater than 14 display style m greater than 14 we find a transition from rich get super richer to rich get richer mechanism topic <laughs> fitness model another model where the key ingredient is the nature of the vertex has been introduced by Calderelli et al here a link is created between two vertices i j 
display style i j with a probability given by a linking function f eta i eta j display style f eta underscore i eta underscore j of the fitnesses of the vertices involved. The degree of a vertex i is given by k eta i equals n zero infinity f eta i eta j rho eta j d eta j Display style k eta underscore i equals n int underscore zero caret in a t f eta underscore i eta underscore j rho eta underscore j d eta underscore j if k eta i display style k eta underscore i is an invertible and increasing function of eta i display style eta underscore i then the probability distribution p k display style p k is given by p k equals rho eta k eta k display style p k equals rho eta k c d o t eta k as a result if the fitnesses Ada display style ADA are distributed as a power law then also the node degree does less intuitively with a fast decaying probability distribution as rho ADA equals e minus ADA display style rho ADA equals e caret ADA together with a linking function of the kind f Ada I Ada J equals theta Ada I plus Ada J minus Z Display style f eta underscore i eta underscore j equals theta eta underscore i plus eta underscore j z with z display style z a constant and theta display style theta the heavy side function we also obtain scale free networks such model has been successfully applied to describe trade between nations by using gdp as fitness for the various nodes i j display style i j and a linking function of the kind delta Ada I Ada J one plus Delta Ada I Ada J Display style FRAC Delta Ada underscore I Ada underscore J one plus Delta Ada underscore I Ada underscore J Topic Network analysis Topic Social network analysis Social network analysis examines the structure of relationships between social entities These entities are often persons but may also be groups organizations nation states websites scholarly publications since the 1970s, the empirical study of networks has played a central role in social science, and many of the mathematical and statistical tools used for studying networks have been first developed in sociology. Amongst many other applications, social network analysis has been used to understand the diffusion of innovations, news and rumors. Similarly, it has been used to examine the spread of both diseases and health-related behaviors. It has also been applied to the study of markets, where it has been used to examine the role of trust in exchange relationships and of social mechanisms in setting prices. Similarly, it has been used to study recruitment into political movements and social organizations. 
It has also been used to conceptualize scientific disagreements as well as academic prestige. More recently, network analysis and its close cousin traffic analysis has gained a significant use in military intelligence, for uncovering insurgent networks of both hierarchical and leaderless nature. Dynamic network analysis Dynamic network analysis examines the shifting structure of relationships among different classes of entities in complex socio-technical systems effects, and reflects social stability and changes such as the emergence of new groups, topics, and leaders. Dynamic network analysis focuses on meta-networks composed of multiple types of nodes entities and multiple types of links. These entities can be highly varied. Examples include people, organizations, topics, resources, tasks, events, locations, and beliefs. Dynamic network techniques are particularly useful for assessing trends and changes in networks over time, identification of emergent leaders, and examining the co-evolution of people and ideas. Topic: <laughs> Biological network analysis. With the recent explosion of publicly available high-throughput biological data, the analysis of molecular networks has gained significant interest. The type of analysis in this content are closely related to social network analysis, but often focusing on local patterns in the network. For example, network motifs are small subgraphs that are over-represented in the network. Activity motifs are similar over-represented patterns in the attributes of nodes and edges in the network that are over-represented given the network structure. The analysis of biological networks has led to the development of network medicine, which looks at the effect of diseases in the interactome. <laughs> Link analysis Link analysis is a subset of network analysis, exploring associations between objects. An example may be examining the addresses of suspects and victims, the telephone numbers they have dialed and financial transactions that they have partaken in during a given time frame, and the familial relationships between these subjects as a part of police investigation. Link analysis here provides the crucial relationships and associations between very many objects of different types that are not apparent from isolated pieces of information. Computer-assisted or fully automatic computer-based link analysis is increasingly employed by banks and insurance agencies in fraud detection, by telecommunication operators in telecommunication network analysis, by medical sector in epidemiology and pharmacology, in law enforcement investigations, by search engines for relevance rating and conversely by the spammers for spamdexing and by business owners for search engine optimization, and everywhere else where relationships between many objects have to be analyzed. Topic. Network robustness The structural robustness of networks is studied using percolation theory. When a critical fraction of nodes is removed the network becomes fragmented into small clusters. This phenomenon is called percolation and it represents an order-disorder type of phase transition with critical exponents. Topic. Pandemic analysis. The SIR model is one of the most well-known algorithms on predicting the spread of global pandemics within an infectious population. Topic: Susceptible to infected. S equals beta 1 n display style S equals beta left frac 1 n right the formula above describes the force of infection for each susceptible unit in an infectious population, where beta is equivalent to the transmission rate of said disease. To track the change of those susceptible in an infectious population, delta S equals beta times S 1 N delta T Display style delta s equals beta times s one over n delta t. Topic: Infected to recovered. 
delta i equals mu i delta t display style delta 1 equals mu i delta t over time the number of those infected fluctuates but the specified rate of recovery represented by mu display style mu but deducted to 1 over the average infectious period 1 tau display style 1 over tau the number of infectious individuals i display style i and the change in time delta t display style delta t topic infectious period whether a population will be overcome by a pandemic, with regards to the SIR model, is dependent on the value of R 0 or the average people infected by an infected individual. R 0 equals beta tau equals beta mu Display style r underscore zero equals beta tau equals beta over mu. Topic: Web link analysis. Several web search ranking algorithms use link-based centrality metrics, including in order of appearance, Marchiori's hyper search, Google's PageRank, Kleinberg's hits algorithm, the Cherank and TrustRank algorithms. Link analysis is also conducted in information science and communication science in order to understand and extract information from the structure of collections of web pages. For example, the analysis might be of the interlinking between politicians' websites or blogs. Topic: <laughs> Page rank. Page rank works by randomly picking nodes or websites and then with a certain probability randomly jumping to other nodes by randomly jumping to these other nodes it helps page rank completely traverse the network as some web pages exist on the periphery and would not as readily be assessed each node x i display style x underscore i has a page rank as defined by the sum of pages j display style j that link to i display style i times 1 over the outlinks or out degree of j display style j times the importance or page rank of j display style j x i equals j i 1 n J X J K display style x underscore i equals sum underscore j right arrow i one over n underscore j x underscore j caret k. Topic: Random jumping. As explained above, PageRank enlists random jumps in attempts to assign PageRank to every website on the internet. These random jumps find websites that might not be found during the normal search methodologies such as breadth-first search and depth-first search. In an improvement over the aforementioned formula for determining page rank includes adding these random jump components. Without the random jumps, some pages would receive a page rank of zero which would not be good. The first is alpha display style alpha or the probability that a random jump will occur contrasting as the damping factor or 1 minus alpha display style 1 alpha r p equals alpha n plus 1 minus alpha j i 1 n J X J K 
Display style R P equals alpha over N plus one alpha sum underscore J right arrow I one over N underscore J x underscore J carrot K. Another way of looking at it R A equals R B B outlinks plus plus R N N outlinks display style R A equals sum R underscore B over B underscore text outlinks plus C D O T S plus R underscore N over N underscore text outlinks topic centrality measures Information about the relative importance of nodes and edges in a graph can be obtained through centrality measures, widely used in disciplines like sociology. Centrality measures are essential when a network analysis has to answer questions such as, which nodes in the network should be targeted to ensure that a message or information spreads to all or most nodes in the network? Or conversely, which nodes should be targeted to curtail the spread of a disease? Formally established measures of centrality are degree centrality, closeness centrality, betweenness centrality, eigenvector centrality, and cat centrality. The objective of network analysis generally determines the type of centrality measures to be used. Degree centrality of a node in a network is the number of links vertices incident on the node. Closeness centrality determines how close a node is to other nodes in a network by measuring the sum of the shortest distances geodesic paths between that node and all other nodes in the network. Betweenness centrality determines the relative importance of a node by measuring the amount of traffic flowing through that node to other nodes in the network. This is done by measuring the fraction of paths connecting all pairs of nodes and containing the node of interest. Group betweenness centrality measures the amount of traffic flowing through a group of nodes. Eigenvector centrality is a more sophisticated version of degree centrality where the centrality of a node not only depends on the number of links incident on the node but also the quality of those links. This quality factor is determined by the eigenvectors of the adjacency matrix of the network. Cat centrality of a node is measured by summing the geodesic paths between that node and all reachable nodes in the network. These paths are weighted. Paths connecting the node with its immediate neighbors carry higher weights than those which connect with nodes farther away from the immediate neighbors. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Spread of content in networks. Content in a complex network can spread via two major methods: conserved spread and non-conserved spread. In conserved spread, the total amount of content that enters a complex network remains constant as it passes through. The model of conserved spread can best be represented by a pitcher containing a fixed amount of water being poured into a series of funnels connected by tubes. Here, the pitcher represents the original source and the water is the content being spread. The funnels and connecting tubing represent the nodes and the connections between nodes, respectively. As the water passes from one funnel into another, the water disappears instantly from the funnel that was previously exposed to the water. In non-conserved spread, the amount of content changes as it enters and passes through a complex network. The model of non-conserved spread can best be represented by a continuously running faucet running through a series of funnels connected by tubes. Here, the amount of water from the original source is infinite. Also, any funnels that have been exposed to the water continue to experience the water even as it passes into successive funnels. The non-conserved model is the most suitable for explaining the transmission of most infectious diseases. Topic: The Sir model. In 1927, W. O. Kermack and A. G. McKendrick created a model in which they considered a fixed population with only three compartments, susceptible S T infected I T and recovered R T the compartments used for this model consist of three classes S T 
is used to represent the number of individuals not yet infected with the disease at time t, or those susceptible to the disease i t denotes the number of individuals who have been infected with the disease and are capable of spreading the disease to those in the susceptible category r t is the compartment used for those individuals who have been infected and then recovered from the disease. Those in this category are not able to be infected again or to transmit the infection to others. The flow of this model may be considered as follows S I R display style math call s right arrow math call i right arrow math call r using a fixed population n equals s t plus i t plus r t display style n equals s t plus i t plus r t Kermack and McKendrick derived the following equations d s d t equals minus beta s i d i d t equals beta s i minus gamma i D R D T equals gamma I display style begin aligned frac d s d t and equals beta s i eight p t frac d d t and equals beta s i gamma i eight p t frac doctor d t and equals gamma i end aligned. Several assumptions were made in the formulation of these equations. First, an individual in the population must be considered as having an equal probability as every other individual of contracting the disease with a rate of beta display style beta, which is considered the contact or infection rate of the disease. Therefore, an infected individual makes contact and is able to transmit the disease with beta n display style beta n others per unit time and the fraction of contacts by an infected with a susceptible is s n display style s n the number of new infections in unit time per infective then is beta n s n display style beta n s n giving the rate of new infections or those leaving the susceptible category as beta n s n i equals beta s i display style beta n s n i equals beta s i brower and castillo chavez 2001 for the second and third equations consider the population leaving the susceptible class is equal to the number entering the infected class However, a number equal to the fraction gamma display style gamma which represents the mean recovery rate or 1 gamma display style 1 gamma the mean infective period of infectives are leaving this class per unit time to enter the removed class. These processes which occur simultaneously are referred to as the law of mass action, a widely accepted idea that the rate of contact between two groups in a population is proportional to the size of each of the groups concerned daily and Ghani 2005. Finally, it is assumed that the rate of infection and recovery is much faster than the time scale of births and deaths and therefore, these factors are ignored in this model. More can be read on this model on the epidemic model page. The master equation approach A master equation can express the behavior of an undirected growing network where, at each time step, a new node is added to the network, linked to an old node randomly chosen and without preference. The initial network is formed by two nodes and two links between them at time t equals 2 display style t equals 2 This configuration is necessary only to simplify further calculations, so at time t equals n display style t equals n the network have n display style n nodes and n display style n links the master equation for this network is p k s t plus 1 
equals one T P K minus one S T plus one minus one T P K S T Display style P K S T plus one equals FRAC one T P K one S T plus left one FRAC one T right P K S T where P K S T Display style P K S T is the probability to have the node S Display style S with degree k display style k at time t plus 1 display style t plus 1 and s display style s is the time step when this node was added to the network note that there are only two ways for an old node s display style s to have k Display style k links at time t plus one. Display style t plus one. The node s display style s have degree k minus one. Display style k one at time t display style t and will be linked by the new node with probability 1 t display style 1 t already has degree k display style k at time t display style t and will not be linked by the new node after simplifying this model the degree distribution is p k equals 2 Minus k display style p k equals two caret k. Based on this growing network, an epidemic model is developed following a simple rule. Each time the new node is added, and after choosing the old node to link, a decision is made whether or not this new node will be infected. The master equation for this epidemic model is p r k s t equals R T one T P R K minus one S T plus one minus one T P R K S T Display style p underscore r k s t equals r underscore t f r a c one t p underscore r k one s t plus left one f r a c one t right p underscore r k s t, where r t display style r underscore t represents the decision to infect r t equals one display style r underscore t equals one or not r t equals zero display style r underscore t equals zero. Solving this master equation, the following solution is obtained: p tilde r k equals r two k display style tilde p underscore r k equals left frac r to right caret k topic interdependent networks an interdependent network is a system of coupled networks where nodes of one or more networks depend on nodes in other networks such dependencies are enhanced by the developments in modern technology. 
Dependencies may lead to cascading failures between the networks and a relatively small failure can lead to a catastrophic breakdown of the system. Blackouts are a fascinating demonstration of the important role played by the dependencies between networks. A recent study developed a framework to study the cascading failures in an interdependent network system. Multilayer networks Multilayer networks are networks with multiple kinds of relations. Increasingly sophisticated attempts to model real-world systems as multidimensional networks have yielded valuable insight in the fields of social network analysis, economics, history, urban and international transport, ecology, psychology, medicine, biology, commerce, climatology, physics, computational neuroscience, operations management, and finance. Topic network optimization Network problems that involve finding an optimal way of doing something are studied under the name of combinatorial optimization. Examples include network flow, shortest path problem, transport problem, transshipment problem, location problem, matching problem, assignment problem, packing problem, routing problem, critical path analysis and PERT program evaluation and review technique. See also